I have an interesting question for you this week, my friends. Where in the Torah does it tell us that we should wear a kippah? The answer is going to surprise you. Shalom, my friends. The Torah never tells us that we should wear a kippah or cover our heads. The Jewish Bible doesn't tell us to wear a kippah or even to cover our heads. In fact, it implies the opposite. It implies that in ancient times, all Jews went around bareheaded. How does it tell us this? It says that when King David was in mourning, he covered his head to show that he was in mourning. Now that's an exception that proves a rule. The rule is people didn't cover their heads. If they did, King David covering his head would not have been a sign of anything. It would have been just what everybody else does. But because the rule is that people went around bareheaded, David's exception, covering his head, meant something special. As I said, in this case, that he was in mourning. The first time that we really get a discussion about Jews covering their heads is in the Talmud, which is much later than the Bible. In the Talmud, one of the discussions tells us that we should cover our heads as a sign of Yirat Shemayim, which is Hebrew, literally for the fear of heaven, fear of God, in other words. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. And that is that Hebrew does have a word, both biblical and modern, for what we would call fear or terror, really being frightened. That's not what's used in the phrase Yerat Shemayim. Sometimes it's translated as being in awe of God. And there's a part of me that likes that translation. But there's another part of me that acknowledges that the concept of fear of God which simply means that we should live with a sense of accountability to God for our moral behavior. That's an important concept. So the kippah or the head covering, because in the Talmud it's not yet a kippah, it's just covering your head. Covering, covering your head is a sign of yirat shemayim, of fear of God in the most positive sense. There is a problem, however, with simply covering your head. It may remind you to live with a sense of Yerat Shemayim, but if I take my kippah off, I change my hat, I'm here in synagogue, my head's still covered, I'm kosher. This is actually fine. Here's the problem with it. When I put this on, I make a statement to the world. And that statement is, I am a Philadelphia Phillies fan. Anyone who looks at my hat knows that immediately. If I switch back to my kippah, I'm sending a very different message. To anyone who sees it, I'm saying I'm Jewish. I'm saying that Judaism is central to my life. Secular Jews do not wear kippot which is the Hebrew, by the way. In the singular, this is a kippah. Plural is kippot. The Yiddish word is yarmulke. You might have heard any of those. They're all fine. When I wear a yarmulke or a kippah, I make the statement, as I said, I'm Jewish. Judaism is central to my life. And I strongly identify with the Jewish people and with the state of Israel. And that, to me, is a very powerful statement to make, especially at a time when anti-Semitism is on the rise in America and around the world. Now, you don't have to be Jewish to benefit from, from the suggestion. Take any symbol of your own religion and try this. Wear it publicly. 
Maybe it's a cross around your neck. Let it hang outside your shirt for a day. Do something that lets people know that you identify with your religion in a powerful way and see if that does not have a powerful impact on you yourself. See if it doesn't make you feel even more connected to your own religious heritage, just as wearing a kippah makes me feel more connected to my religious heritage. That's my thought for Shabbat this week. I wish you a peaceful and restful Shabbat. Rosh Hashanah is just around the corner. Time to start getting ready for that. Spiritual preparation takes time. Now's the time to begin. Please subscribe to the channel by clicking on my face. There it is right there. Or watch my last video by clicking on the icon right over there. Until next week, Shabbat Shalom.